Hey guys, Belinda here for Horror Tree with another dose of my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And today I'm going to be talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, first up is Manor Waker Studio Project Briar Rose. So Project Briar Rose is an anthology focused on sci-fi stories about specific character traits. The book will be a sci-fi retelling of the first half of Briar Rose in bracket Sleeping Beauty as it was told by the Grimm brothers. They are after 13 stories from 13 different authors, each one showcasing one of the Briar Rose traits in the framing story. The story should be some form of speculative fiction, but any of the subgenres or spec fic or even some parallel genres are acceptable. Thereafter, stories are between 1,500 to 5,000 words, and they are also looking for cover artwork. Now, if stories reprints are also accepted. So payment is one cent per word, half of this for reprints, and for cover illustration, $100 negotiable. The submissions close on the 31st of December. Now, this is a really detailed call, guys. So far too much for me to go into in this video. So if you are interested in this submission call, please jump online, check it out. All right, next up is Sliced Up Press, Sand Salt Blood Anthology. So Sand Salt Blood is an anthology of sea horror stories aiming to raise money for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. They're after stories of horror set on, in or around the sea, including coastal areas and islands, as long as the sea plays a key part, because let's face it, the sea is terrifying. It has sharks, it's black, it's deep, it's endless. It is freaking terrifying. So go nuts with this one. Um, although the editor likes stories with sirens and mermaids and other sea creatures, think beyond that too. And horror just isn't about the shock and the gore. Consider creepy and eerie as well. Consider the kind of atmosphere that raises the hair on your neck and makes you feel like you're being watched. Um, they're especially interested in submissions from women, BIPOC, disabled and LGB TQIA plus authors. Um, they're after stories of between two to 4,000 words. Poetry, there's no word count, no word limit for that. And authors can submit up to three stories and poems each, no reprints or simultaneous subs. Payment is 0.01 cent per word, $25 per poem of any length, plus one paperback contributor's copy. Submissions close on the 16th of October. Next up is rondaparish.com, Women and the Sea. Sticking with the sea theme because it is awesome. Um, so Women and the Sea have a lot in common. They're deep, they're mysterious, they're beautiful, they're dangerous. And they have been tied together in myth and story from the beginning of time. Stories of women being drawn to the sea or being left on the shore waiting for their men to return have been passed down through the ages. So this anthology's anthology sorry, of stories about women and the sea will be filled with beautiful atmospheric stories. Speculative elements and fantastical creatures are welcome in these stories, but they are also open to non-spec stories which fit the theme. Thereafter, stories of 7,500 word maximum count, no reprints, no simultaneous subs. Payment is 50 Canadian dollars and the submissions close on the 30th of September. Last, certainly not least, is He Rife Publishing Cosmic Crime Stories. And He Rife Publishing is looking for stories and illustrations for cosmic crime stories, a tri-annual print anthology of tales of future crimes and future detectives. And I need to say here, if I have pronounced that wrong, if I have pronounced He Rife wrong, please let me know. Okay, thank you. I'll get back to it. Okay, so they say that there are no new plots or stories anywhere. They may be right, but you are the only you there is. So send them in a story that only you can tell and as only you can tell it, 
and one that's atmospheric and highly entertaining that has fascinating characters and one that takes place in a unique location or time period. Um, they don't want gore or blood or splatter or slice and dice. And a word about sex and extreme language, they don't mind it, but it has to serve a purpose to your story. So don't just chuck it in there for the sake of it. Um, please note that crime fiction written in the third person stands the best chance for acceptance. The word count for this is 2,000 to 8,000 words with a minimum word count of 2,000, which is firm. They are also looking for artwork. And as for stories, reprints are also okay. Um, pay rate for stories, original stories is $25. Pay rate for reprints is $10. And pay rate for original illustrations is $6 per illustration. And the submissions are ongoing for this one, guys. So that's it. Another brilliant week of brilliant submission calls by brilliant publishers and one that should get all us writers and artists and poets out there and getting our work out there and loved and adored and just seen by the masses. So hopefully it gets our creative juices flowing and creating some beautiful, beautiful artwork and poetry and stories. So if you are thinking of submitting to any of these submission calls, guys, everything you need is up on the Horror Tree website. Get on there and check it out. And good luck if you are going to submit. Um, submit um, sub subscribe to our Horror Tree YouTube channel. We'd love for you to subscribe to us. We'd love to see you there. And we would also love any feedback or comments or suggestions. Feedback such as, yes, Belinda, you did pronounce that wrong. I'm all ears. Let me know. Um, until next time, guys, thank you for sticking with me and stay safe, stay cool and stay spooky. See you later.